This is a Rainbow Workbook lesson for English First Additional Language, Grade 1, Term 3, Lesson 10. In this lesson, the topics of focus are days of the week, colors and numbers. Sing along! Hello children! Today we're going to sing a song to help you remember the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday too, Friday too. I go to school on these days, I go to school on these days. So do you, so do you. Such a day, Sunday, such a day, Sunday. My week has begun. Good. Shall we do that one more time? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday too, Friday too. I go to school on these days, I go to school on these days. So do you, so do you. Such a day, Sunday, such a day, Sunday. My week has begun. Word play. Hello, learners. Today, you are going to listen to a short story. While you are listening, you need to listen out for some special words. These words are the days of the week. Let's first say them together. Repeat after me. Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Good! Now listen to this short story and each time you hear a day of the week, you must click your fingers like this. Ready? It was a busy Monday at school. The children love Mondays. They get to play tennis for P.E. Tuesdays are great too. On Tuesday, the school has an assembly and all the children sing happy songs. What happens on a Wednesday? Well, funny you should ask. For Wednesdays are the days that children bake a treat to enjoy at home. Thursday is a special reading day with the older children. Fridays are, well, Fridays. They are the end of a busy week and the start of the weekend. Saturdays and Sundays are for fun and relaxation. What a busy week! Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday at school and Saturday and Sunday at home. Which is your favorite day of the week? Was that fun? Good job, children! Sentence play. Let's start with an easy listening and counting game. I am going to clap my hands and you will count how many times I clapped. Ready? Listen. Did you count the claps? How many did you count? That's right. I clapped three times. So answer my question. How many did you count? You say, I can count three claps. Good. 
Let's do another. How many can you count? Good. So you say, I can count five claps. Great work! Now your teacher is going to hold up some pencils. How many can you count? Fantastic! Say, I can count four pencils. Well done! Now your teacher is going to show you a pile of books. How many can you count? Correct. Say, I can count six books. Well done, children. Sound play. We are going to play a game with sounds. Ready? I'm going to call out three words. Listen carefully to the sounds at the end. Which word has a different sound at the end? Pen, pig, pan. Correct! Pig has a different sound at the end to pen and pan. Pig ends in g and the other two end in n. Let's do another one. Listen carefully to the N sounds. Which one is different? Ant, cat, pond. Correct. Pond ends in D, while ant and cat both end in T. Listen again. Pink, pig, wig. Correct. Pink ends in k. Pig and wig both end in g. Listen again. Desk, sock, big. Well done. Big ends in g, while the other two both end in k. Ready? Listen again. Mouse, small, house. Correct. Small ends in the l sound and the other two end in the s sound. Great work today, children. Playtime. Today you will be playing a game called Stand Up, Sit Down. I will be calling out two words. If the words are exactly the same, you must stay sitting down. But if the words are different, you must stand up. Ready to play? Have a listen. Top, pop. Great! You heard that the words are not the same, so you stood up. Say the words after me. Top, pop. Good! Let's do another one. Big Pig Good! The words are not the same, so you stood up. Say the words after me. Big Pig Good! Let's do another one. Pot Pot are you sitting down? The words are the same. Well done. Say pot. Super work, children.